Hey you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization V as the Shoshone. And we continue our trek towards a diplomatic victory. Hopefully we can pull that off, and uh, that would be very, very swell. Uh, between episodes, I did go and fiddle around with things a little bit, so we get a bit more of the gold focus thing going on where we can. Um, so, you know, our income is up to about 400 bucks a uh, turn right now, which is relatively good. It's certainly not as high as it could be. Especially with the kind of victory condition we're going for, but we're trying our best. Yes, I would love to keep that going, please and thank you. Although, maybe I should also turn around and just sell more of this stuff. Yes, let us work together and be as friendly as possible. Um, Dido, I wonder if she'd be willing to do any trades. She's been kind of dick. Is that? Wait. That can't be right. I guess it is right. She has a lot of money. Wow. Um not willing to offer me any. Wow. Wow. You are very much a bad person. I, I know, harsh language. Every now and again, you gotta just, like, break it out there. Um, anything else we need to finish off our money-making system over here? Stock exchanges, yes. Let's get that going. We've got growth, which is also a very good way to keep making more and more money. No one's got a pay us lots of cash for alliance mission quite yet. But we'll get there. So this vote is just for voting on whatever issues we've got set up. It's not the world leader one yet. We can get a lot of city-states on our side. Finally, a like moderately reasonable offer. I will take it just to try to build up relations. Plus, it'll help for me to have an embassy in your in your city. And, you know, 3 extra gold per turn, sure, why not? Um, Hanoi has a new ally. God damn it, Japan. What is up with you? What is up with you in Hanoi? Um, Caravan Street, which we don't need there. Stable, this, that, this, that, that, that. So lots of things we want. Oh, we could start on our uh, Manhattan Project for our plan B there. Really stagnating here. Interesting. Even on gold focus, you're still working the artists. I'll have to manual focus you. Um, which I really should just be doing in general. You can go ahead and build the Manhattan Project. It's okay. We need a bank. Oh, we need a lighthouse here. It's actually going to be really important in this city. Go ahead and do that. Infantry has arrived in Satsuma. Go ahead and park yourself in the city. Thank you very much. You have one turn of resistance. Okay, we might not change what you're doing. Uh, rig the election in Lhasa. Great. Now we're going to move you out of there. We're going to assign you somewhere else. Rigged in Valletta. Which is still not my ally, so we're going to keep you there. You went there. We might send you in Hanoi, or maybe we've got some there. Replace Carthage. Valletta, we're now friends. That's good. Rigged it in Hanoi. Okay, we're leaving you in Hanoi. Oh, uranium. Okay. Tell you what, Shoshone worker, whatever you're doing right now. Uh, and trading post is actually really good. The AI loves to automatically build trading posts, which is one of the reasons it's not so bad that I'm doing that now. Um, because we do want trading posts. Warsaw, trade. I sell you copper. You give me money. And a little bit more money. Awesome. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, so we want, like, uranium hooked up in lots of places. Worker over here. That's that one. That's that one. And that always oh, is technically our territory. Okay, we may not need to hook up all of it. And there's some more that might get going over there. Which wouldn't be horrible. We'll just hook up what we can. Um, you have no money. So we are not going to sell you anything. Oh, she's neutral now. Um, cotton? For three gold per turn? You know what? I'll take all these. It's totally okay. And copper for three gold per turn as well. And maybe maybe we can improve a relation next time. But I'll take the extra cash. We'll keep storing it up. So everyone that's blue is my ally. Everyone that's green is not. 
yeah, I need more missions to come up where people are willing to, uh, they want cash. Although, Dido could still outspend me, which would be kind of frustrating. We'll see. Mm, Washington's plotting against me. Well, I'm sure he, like, is, yeah, continuously plotting against me. That's not a terrible surprise. Um, and he's got battleships going on right now. I would really like to not have to go and upgrade all my ships to battleships just because that's expensive. We're going to go ahead and fortify you on this hill and hope that's enough. Actually, you know what we'll do? Is we'll swap you two around because the Great War Infantry is not as strong. Um, musician, we've got nothing we can do with you right now. I suppose we could send you somewhere. I don't know if there's much point in doing that. Yeah, just hang out. Go ahead and hook up the uranium. You hang out in town here. You do nothing. You hang out in town here. Why? I don't know what it's doing. The East India Company. Um, okay. Yeah, we don't want that in our capital, though. That wouldn't make much sense. We do want a stock exchange, though. We do want the East India Company, and perhaps we'll put that in Brussels, since it wants some production right now. Go ahead and do that. Excellent. Market is done. Throw down a bank. Sit tight in the city. No. I can't do the auto wake-up thing in a city. Oh, that's what's going on. You have to do a fortify, which is less good. Great musician... They want uranium. Well, we will try to get that hooked up as soon as possible. Yeah. Actually, maybe we shouldn't hook it up right away. Maybe we should let more missions sort of store up here. Um, I'm wondering. To a frigate. How much does it cost up to get the frigate to the next thing? 400 gold. I don't think we're going to do that. I think what we should do is actually just build. Build some battleships. I mean, we could do it in case of emergency, but yeah, let's let's go and build a. I guess just the one. I guess just the one. Okay. These cities aren't out of. Oh, this one is. Tsuma's starting to build things. Well, that's nice. And building a bank at that because it is gold focused by default. That'll be quite nice. Um, no. <laughs> I'm not giving you 73 gold per turn. Uh, even though we've been buddies, Poland, listen. We've had a great relationship. I think we can all agree. You're, you've, I, I've been a bro to you. You've been, you've been pretty good to me too. But really, I mean, you can't deny I've been a total bro. And, but I can't do that. Uh, hydro plant is done. Which is still good. We still could go for like just more food and things. But the hospitals are... I don't think we're going to get to take advantage of it, I think is what comes down to. So, just build me some wealth here. You got you got some hammers. You can do that. You're gold-focused. Okay, good. All right. Plus one population here. Lovely. Okay, no one cares I was denounced. Um. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's actually attacking me. Can I bribe you? Or discuss? No, not discuss. Can I bribe you to go to war with Korea? I should have done that sooner. No. I think he's like 100% locked on to this, and that will crash my economy. Is the following trade of interest to you? This? Two gold per... Okay. Okay, the Egypt one definitely, definitely works. I'm totally willing to do that one. Um, what about Dido? 359 gold per turn. Not, not so much. Not so much. But you know what? I am going to get you to declare war on Egypt. Please and thank you. I would gladly give up my spices for that. And two gold per turn. Thanks. Y'all have fun now. Because, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is open borders, actually, I suppose. If, uh, now that I think about it, he may have been going to declare war on Japan. Because if he declares war on me, he gets booted out. That's one advantage of having so much territory over here is, well, A, I would get a fair amount of warning because he'd have to declare war over here. But when I see this, he's not actually coming for me now that I think about it. But it's still a good idea to keep him busy with a huge power. Is he still at war with Japan? He might have been. A... Yeah, he was. So that's probably all he was doing. You know what? I'm still totally okay with it. Keep more of these guys in big wars and away from me. Uh, you go and definitely hook up the uranium, especially in a city where production kind of matters. 
generally speaking. What kind of matters everywhere? So we're still capped on trade routes. We're making a decent amount of money. Still hoping for a mission. What uh, What is going on with the World Congress right now? World's Fair, which ain't bad. And voting to embargo Japan doesn't really make a difference to us one way or another. So we can probably win the World's Fair without any difficulty whatsoever. Okay, ideologies. Level 2. Bonus production is always very handy. The five-year plan is great. The workers' f faculties, though, that's the factories increasing our science in output is really sexy. Um, none of these are particularly like in line with our overall like victory condition. I, the biggest one is the five-year five -year plan increasing our production output, which we can then turn into more money. Just out of curiosity, like, is there something else we want to do that I'm missing out on? Some wonder that I'm not cluing into. Well, more free social policies is pretty good. CN Tower is really good, actually, because the population boost is huge. Oh, and we want globalization. Um, maybe, probably. I still like the idea of grabbing satellites because it's actually going to auto-complete some quests. So we'll do that and then globalization. And hope that no one declares war on us. Well, if someone does, we can we'll respond somehow. So, the question is still, do we want to be able to start buying great scientists? Do we want to grab commerce? Again, a lot of this is the land trade routes. This does give us some extra money that would actually be pretty handy. Um... It's really good. And factories in half the time, we'll go, we could go back, spend all our coal, of which we have a lot, and finish up all those factories, which increase our production, which do turn into money. Basically, they pay for themselves that way. Uh, it's probably wise to do this. Let's go ahead and do that. And do a quick run through any of our cities. We'll get the factory. I'm sure you have a factory. Yes. Uh, down here, where you're currently producing just money. Of course you have a factory. Silly me. Okay, we're fine at this point. Peace treaty with Kathmandu ended. And, oh, Japan. What I should do is just flip all the people that are friends with Japan here. 48. I really want to save it for the missions, but this actually makes a lot of sense. Especially these guys tend to go and sink my other ships. They're kind of close to America as well, which is nice. Sophia, speaking of... Oh, wait. It's an actual American city. Wow. Okay. Do we want to bribe to flip uh, Ify? 87. That's a lot. Forty-eight in Hanoi. And we have an agent there. Aluminum whales. Uranium. I feel like this is probably worth doing. Give tile improvement? And pay gold to improve a strategic... Oh, really? Oh, it's probably getting, like, plundered and stuff. Um, militaristic. Maybe we can get some more units. Whatever. I'm going to do it. Okay. Now, ally of Hanoi. Which means I don't necessarily need to keep an agent there, but... Oh! I kept the one in Lhasa. Derp. Okay. Hasn't made much progress, though. Let's move you to Sydney. Because there's 11 turns left. Uh, civilization, so just find Sydney. Go there. The one in Hanoi could also move. To, let's say, Riga. I mean, they still continue to reduce stuff even where you're in charge. It'll make it less it'll make it harder for them to go and re-steal it. 
but it, I think it makes more sense to attack the places that are vulnerable. Okay, still making good money. I mean, at this point, every like two and a half turns, we can throw a thousand gold bribe at someone. That's not bad. There we go, Washington piecing out some city-states. We want to make sure the city-states don't fall either. That's pretty important. Because we need as many of them around as we can. Now, we could go and liberate some. That would guarantee them uh, that they would vote for us. But that's, you know, work and effort and all those things. Cargo ship, done. Uh, oh, we'll probably move you then. Oh, does someone want a trade route? No. So, trade overview. Sorted by highest gold. Looks like Kyoto to Utik. And it would give us a science as well. And not give up science. Alright, we'll do that. So, you can move to Kyoto. Research lab. Oh, build the factory then. Public school is done. Build the factory. Yay, uranium. Large public works. Oh, sure. Now. Um... We don't need to go for the big one, but we get a lot of bonus. We may as well do it. Make them somewhat less touchable by other people. Making over 500 gold a turn right now. Okay, good. Still have a lot of territory to improve. They want open borders. Yeah, you're trying to walk through my territory with all your troops uh, to take over Japan. I will go ahead and accept because we will stay even more friendly. But I'm kind of hoping that you can't take Japan. You're only going with cannons, no artillery? I think Japan's going to be okay, actually. They should be able to defend relatively well. There's the Apollo program. Seeks a natural wonder. Everyone's still looking at that. Ah, we got silk. That's good. More natural wonders. Culture. Mosque. Peace with Sydney. Sejong completed the Great Firewall. Okay. Oh, it'll make it harder for us to spy against them. Oh, we're not spying. Um. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and move that. Shall we? Uh, let's go to Eif. We don't need technology, we just need votes. Cargo ship from here, you will go to Utik, or Uduque, or I don't know. I don't know what you are. Hydro plant is done, build me a factory. Uh, lots of stuff still needs to happen here. Happiness is still good overall. You have a factory? No. We're not, how come I can't build a factory? Oh, we probably need a workshop first. So do that. Yeah, but I'm sure you'd be willing to pay me more at this point, right? Nope, you still hate me? You know what? I'll still take the three gold. Money is money. We might be able to spend it on someone else, but that's okay. Uh, a lot of people actually want my wine. And Egypt's got some cash. Let's go and see if we can sell them wine. Assuming that we've got the excess. And we do. Egypt. Trade. Wine. It says that we've only got one, but it's not actually true. Seven and seven. Thank you. Borders are growing. Oh, we got a free unit. Anti-aircraft gun. Do we want to leave it here? Probably not. It's not really a place that's going to get attacked. Uh, moving it towards Duckwater. No, you know what? Moving it towards the American front makes a lot of sense. Again, if we're going to be vulnerable anywhere, it might be there. I'm going to send you into Timbisha is what we're going to do. Go ahead and take, um, I don't know, whatever. Drill. I'll send you over there. Stock exchange done. And research labs. Research is good, but we don't necessarily need to run. We are getting a slight... We're getting money back. But cash is like the end-all and be-all. Eight turns of wealth... So that'd be 10 gold per turn. So 80 gold is what we'd be giving up by building a research lab. I guess that's not actually that much in hindsight. Let's go and do that. Cargo ship, good. Keep this one going up to Thebes. That's going to be totally fine. Now, oh, frigate, you are going to just sit tight and be ready to defend. Oh, that's a free unit. No. Oh, that unit was free. Derp, derp. Carthage has announced America. All right, fine. Whatever. 
doesn't concern me much. We might want to build an opera house just to stick... Actually, we should really just... Send him a mission to Buffalo. We're going to go and spread our influence with America. Because we can. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. I don't suppose I'd be able to, like, grab that extra, like, seven or eight gold from you. I can. Okay. <laughs> wow, America. You're going to just, like, funnel in there one at a time. Ninja style. You do have a lot of units. I will give you that. But you're actually not that far ahead, like, in military tech. Again... Okay, you do have artillery now. Mostly cannons, but you do have artillery. But then the Great War Infantry is opposed to full-out infantry. Stock exchange, go ahead and do the factory. Salt. Well, we'll see what we can do. Milan. Damn it, Carthage. So, we have the money quest, but you're my ally. No one's also got the money quest. But we could flip some people over. Uh, oh. I don't know what ordering this list is in. Kind of annoying. Um, let's go and see if we can flip Mogadishu, actually. 500 is... Would they flip to me? They did. Oh, good. Yeah, because the extra free food is handy. Riga, 29. I'll do that. You know what? We might actually win that next vote, which is going to be in, what, 24 turns? 14 turns! Oh, jeez, okay. Yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's keep working on this. Some of these are pretty far behind. Four influence. Well, we'll go with this one, because we get slightly more influence out of it. Seventy-four, eighty-two, seventy-eight. So, okay, we'll keep the money we've got now, then. So we can respond to things. If someone declares war on us and we have to spend all our money on upgrades and we lose all our trade routes, it's going to be terrible. Oh, you like our proposal to the United Nations. Well, lovely. It makes me very happy. All right, Japan, just hold tight. Yes, everyone hates Japan, but I don't want them to actually die. <clears throat> Although, if they did, I might be able to go and, like, liberate their city. That would mean a war against America, which would mean I'd lose all my trade routes. It almost makes 600 gold a turn for a turn there. Egypt lost its capital. That's why I just lost a bunch of money. All my missions... All my, all my my trade routes to Thebes. Oh my god. That's not great. Um, I still have my trade ships, though. Yeah, wow. Alright, let's go there. Let's, we get a few beakers. I guess it's a thing. And to Washington. And... More Washington, sure. I mean, America would be crazy to go to war with me. I'm sending them so much cash. Let's do that. Still, wow, that is actually a bit of a blow. I'm not going to lie. Egypt recovered his capital. Did it? Are you sure? It still... Hey, Ramses regained its capital and then lost it again. Oh my god! The battle here must be incredibly epic. And look at all those wonders, too. It'd be a really nice thing to own. Uh, we got another free unit. What? What is this? Berber Cavalry. Strength 34. All kinds of deserty bonuses and local... Th oh! Oh, this is like the um, the Moroccan unit. Oh, that's cool. There's actually some desert over here. Maybe we'll go and hang out by duck water. Lodz has grown. Making that money. Oh yeah, whenever we finish this too, we should find the last National Wonders, or Natural Wonders, which will give us another boost with a few different people. Hopefully we'll get a great merchant as well. Um, oh, we have to lead with the culture. 26 turns, so this is not going to kick in before the election though. That's too bad. I'm not doing the vote counting either. I don't know if we've got enough or what. Let's do a concert tour here. Why not? It's something to do. Wow, all the units taking damage over here. Um, sorry, no. I just don't want to have my stuff shot down, even though it would have been a pretty easy war to jump in on. I'm just trying to avoid it. Whales from Riga. I don't know if that completed anything. I don't think so. Oh, these turns are taking a long time to process. I think with all the wars that are going on. Oh, Thebes is still in 
Carthaginian hands. We oh, we don't have a deal going with Ramses. Do we even have crabs to trade? No. But I can sell you cotton. In fact, I'd be quite happy with just making money right now. Do I have a double on marble, sugar, or incense? Marble, no. Sh sugar, no. Incense, no. Okay. Because again, if it says 111 in the Diplo screen, that's how many I can actually give away, but I might have some spares from city-states. Starting the Apollo program, but I'm not doing that. Stock exchange sounds like a great idea, though, so we'll go ahead and get that going. Um, finish the factory. Go ahead and build me a bank. Might be a little late at this point. We should just do full wealth, but on the off chance that we don't win it this time, well, it's not going to be this time anyway. This is a different vote, but I mean in 10 turns. Oh, we claimed some sheep. Still need more workers. Um, I guess I could rush the Apollo program. But no. Cotton to Ramses. Oh, but I'm just... I reinitiated that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through this last vote. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Okay, before we do that, I do have money. Let's go and flip someone else. Actually, one of the people who aren't going to get the boost from the World Wonder, or from the Natural Wonder. So we need 79. Oh, it's only, yeah, 70. That makes sense. So we'll do that. And this one as well. Oh, they have sugar too, which actually opens up a little bit of extra trading. Anti-aircraft gun, you fortify in place. Okay. So... The trick will be to see if we can squeeze these last two people over. 74, we should get 40 when we discover, when we complete satellites and discover all the natural wonders. So that means one of the smaller bribes, the 35 bribe, would actually be enough to flip them to my side. And then over here, I think, I think we'll be able to have all the city-states on our side by the time the next vote comes up. But we have to make sure we do it ahead enough of time because the if you change the votes like on the turn of it doesn't matter i don't even know do we do we actually have to have them on our side right now i guess i have no ability to do that yeah there's no way for me to flip them right now anyway so there's no need to worry about it so anyway this uh this episode we're at the limit i think next episode may be the final one assuming you can get through 10 turns which mostly means no war um That'll be the, the vote for the world leader, and we do have a lot of people on our side, and I'm not getting a notification about anyone else getting close to winning the game, so it'll be interesting to see. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.